Hi everyone, Chris here from Revisto. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to, to move or transform a Tecla model inside an existing Revisto project. So this would be if the Tecla model has been exported with the, the base, base point at zero, zero, and you're using shared coordinates, which this project is. So the, the three models that I have in front of me here, these are all in shared coordinates. I've got a Tecla model, which has already been exported, which if I right click and focus on object, you will see is in the wrong coordinates. So what I need to do now is find a, a common point in the Tecla model and in the Revit models by which I can move the Tecla model by inside Revisto. So it's quite quite easy to do, but the, there are a number of steps. So first step is just select the Tecla model. And then what we need is the scene transform. So in here, we have the ability to move the entire Tecla model by X, Y, and Z which we acquire from the Revit project. We've also got the ability just to rotate the model as well, which this is the, the rotation or the difference in angle between our project north and our true north. So we'll, we'll find that out in a second. So first thing we need to do is we need to find a point in our Tecla model, which we know, and then we need to ID this point in our Revit models. So just highlight this bottom corner here. So this grid A1 in this bottom corner, I know is, is my base point, but I'm just zooming into the plan view of this here just to show you. So I've got grid line A and 1, which are these two grids here. I can inquire this point and then just double check that X, Y, and Z are all zero. So next step, we need to jump into our Revit model. So these Revit models have been set up with the correct shared coordinates. So what we need to do now is find out the coordinates of that grid A1. So I'm looking at level one here, and I know this bottom corner is where my grid A1 is. So first step, just zoom into it. I'm going to crop my view just to speed things up. Right. So what we need to do is find out the exact coordinates of this point here. So you do have a coordinate tool inside Revit, which I can select any point. Unfortunately, you can't select the intersection of a grid. It's snap at what it's snapping to there is one of the foundation beams. Um, which is not what we want. So the way I deal with this is just select the grids. I'm just going to use my temporary hide isolate. I'm just going to come into isolate element. So I've just isolated those two, two grids there. And just to show you that coordinate tool won't snap to that intersection. So the way I get around this, we just need to drop a object in there. So I'm basically going to use a wall and then I'm going to ID the corner of that wall and get the coordinates. So there's a couple of important things to, to make sure. So I'm at level one, which I know is, is, is Z equals zero in my Tecla model. So what I want to make sure is that the wall or the top constraint of this wall finishes at level one, because that will give it, then give us our Z transform that we need. So just select that intersection. I'm just going to draw the wall in horizontally. And there we go. We have a, a wall starting at the intersection of grid line A1. So rather than use the, the spot coordinate tool, what we can do, if you come into manage tab, and then into your coordinates button, 
this report shared coordinate button down at the bottom. Select that. And what we're looking for is that blue dot. We don't want the blue lines. We need that blue dot there, which is the actual corner of the wall. So if you hover over it and then just select it, what you'll notice now is you get the northings and eastings and the elevation of that exact point. So now we've got those, all that we need to do now is copy these um, values into our Revista model. So highlight the northings, just right click, copy, and then jump in to our Revista model. So the northings are, are our Y axis. So we can paste that in there. We'll go back into our Revit model. We'll grab our East Ends, right click, copy, jump back in. That's our X. And then we'll go to our Z value here. And just copy that. And then paste that in there. We'll leave the, the angle for a second and then we'll just transform that. So that's okay then. So if we go back to our home view. There we go. So we can see the Tecla model is now or has now been transformed. So the, the grid line or the model is now lining up with grid line A1, but you'll see that the angle is still not correct. So what we need to do now is get the angle of the model or the Revit model from Project North to True North. So just jump back into Revit. And the easiest way to find this out is if we just draw two, two lines. So I'm just going to come to my annotate, detail lines. And I'm just going to drop one north, one east, like that. Okay, so what we need to do now, so that at the moment the orientation is Project North, what we can do here, change this to True North, which will rotate our view. And then we're just gonna draw another detail line in there, which goes North. So now we need to find this angle between Project North and True North. So just drop a, angle dimension in there and then that will give us our value there so what i i tend to do here is just um, up the number of decimal places for that angle just to make it more accurate so the way to do that just select your dimension go into edit type in here come down to your primary units and just make sure that's on custom for the rounding and then you can add as many decimal places to that as you want. Okay, so next step, so just click on the dimension. I'm just going to control C, copy that, and then jump back into my Revisto project. So again, with the Tecla model highlighted, right click, Scene transform, and then we need to paste the um, rotation in this value here. So just control V and then OK. And then what that's done now is rotated the, the Tecla model by the angle that we, we just obtained through our Revit model. So just to double check. We'll drop some section marks in the model, and then we're just going to have a look at the, the steel against the, the structural model. So all I'll do here, just isolate these, these two models, and we can have a quick look. So just doing a visual check, uh, just to make sure everything is aligning. I can Drop one on vertically and just do a quick check. That looks all good. 
And that's it. Thank you.